everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new WWE Ultimate Elite. Oh my god. Today we have another WWE Ultimate Edition action figure review. Not a two in one. You know, we only have the one in stock. I'm not sure when The Rock is dropping just yet, but as soon as I do get it, I will let you guys know and we'll do a review on that one as well. But today we only have the Charlotte Flair Ultimate Edition series. Is it six? I think it's series six. I, I can't find the damn series. Let's see. We had Ultimate Warrior Ronda. We had Brett and Shinsuke. We had Finn and Triple H. We had Brock and HBK. We had Cena and Becky Lynch. I think this is Ultimate Edition series number six and it is on Charlotte Flair a figure that I'm actually looking forward to you know usually the women's figures I'm not that high on but with the updated articulation and the ultimate editions that we've gotten in the past I'm really excited for this one so let's go ahead and dive in guys you got the front viewing window there with the beautiful pink robe I can already see it from here I mean obviously jackass there's a big seven inch six inch window here where I can look straight through the transparency and see the damn robe right in front of you but you do get all the nice accessories really a lot of saturation coming through with this robe I can tell automatically you got Charlotte Flair up here, Ultimate Edition down there. Charlotte Flair's face there, WWE logo there. On the back, you get a beautiful looking moonsault. Even though I'm going to be honest with you, her moonsault's not the best in the world. I feel like she overshoots it every time. You got Charlotte Flair's face right there. You got a little bio read. If you want to read that right there, you can go ahead and pause it right now. Rest of some bio stuff over here. You got Charlotte Flair right there, Ultimate Edition logo. Charlotte Flair here again, Ultimate Edition logo there. And that pretty much does it for our Ultimate Edition Charlotte Flair packaging. So with that being said, let's go ahead and crack open the Ultimate Edition WWE Mattel Charlotte Flair figure. So here is the queen out of the packaging, guys. Looking pretty damn solid, you know? For some reason, with this Ultimate Edition, guys, it kind of seems to me like you don't get a ton of accessories. Like, yeah, we get the high, nice quality robe, which is always appreciated. We've seen that in the past with guys like Bobby Roode. We've seen it with Ric Flair before. We have seen, even with Charlotte before, with the Elite 54, I think we did get a nice little quality robe. You get a couple interchangeable head sculpts and stuff, but let's find out if this Ultimate Edition Charlotte is on the same level tier as Ronda Rousey, which is coveted as my most amazing. Mattel WWE female figure of all time. But let's find out together. Look, guys, we don't have two figures, so we're going to dive into Charlotte's accessories and then Charlotte herself, and that's all we got. So let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, guys, so for Charlotte Flair's accessories, guys, you do get the beautiful robe on the back of it. It does say Flair in this nice, like, silver, like, reflection style going on. You guys can see how silver and nice that is. Uh, the faux fur feels great. It's very similar to the Io Shirai Elite 79 figure that we just got. I love the cloth robe, though. It's, like, very big and stuff. You guys saw how it looked on the figure. It looked fantastic. It feels really good in the hand. It's very, very saturated. Like, it is super saturated. Like, when I first took it out of the packaging, when I first, you know, took the figure out of the box to look at the figure, the first thing I noticed was how saturated and nice this robe is. So, the robe is very, very bright pink. It looks really, really good. I like all the different designs and floral patterns you got going all over. It fits the figure nice. And, I mean, that's really all you can ask for, right? I mean, I don't think you really need much more than that with that. As far as interchangeable hands go, she does come with mic holding hands out of the pack. Packaging. If you guys want to take a look at that, she does have the mic holding hands, which we love to see. She also comes with flat hands, so I guess these, these could be a couple things. You can either say these are like relaxed hands, you know, like hands by the side hands, or you could say these are slapping hands. I guess they I guess they could work as slapping hands. Or you could say they're like entrance hands. You know, she comes out and she's got a robe on and she does her 360 spin with her hands out like that. But I feel like that's what these are. So you have like sort of grappling hands or entrance hands here as well. So you get two pairs of interchangeable hands hands like that, and you get the mic holding hands, which I think I like these. They're a good size. They fit the figure well, but these look good. I like the interchangeable hands. I like the robe accessory, and then with Ultimate Editions, you do get the interchangeable head sculpt. So here's the first one. It is the smiling one, which I think looks just like Charlotte. I don't think you're going to have any problems with that. I think it definitely captures Charlotte. You get your nice blonde hair there, nice soft plastic here that will not prevent articulation. You should still be able to articulate the head sculpt, and then you do have like a smirking face, and I think both, both of them definitely look just just like Charlotte. I think it's uncanny. It, it definitely looks just like Charlotte. I think they did an awesome job on these head sculpts. They definitely look more like Charlotte than the Becky ones. I think the Becky ones just were not hitting for me. I didn't see any likeness to Becky Lynch in those, but I think the Charlotte ones definitely look like Charlotte. I think that these head sculpts are much better than the Becky there, and I think that probably already makes this figure superior to Becky's, even though I'm a, I'm a bigger fan of Becky than Charlotte, but these head sculpts are fantastic, but if you guys want to interchange these, you can just plop them on the head sculpt like so. You guys know the technique, thumb over the chin slash mouth and just kind of push it on like so. And there you go, looks pretty good there. And if you want to remove it, thumb under the chin, pop it off. And then the same thing here, 
thumb over the chin and then pop that back on. Very, very simple stuff. I really wish there was like a pissed off head sculpt. I really would have seen like, you know, you know, Charlotte can be a bitch, right? I, I would have loved to seen a pissed off Charlotte head sculpt come with this figure. That would have really put the figure over the top. Both of them are smirking or smiling, so really would like to see a pissed off head sculpt or a screaming head sculpt. Something. Something that shows anger because we've seen Charlotte get angry before. That would have been nice to see, but that does it for Charlotte Flair's accessories. So getting into the figure itself, guys, you guys will see here with the head sculpt. Uh, I mean, we just took a look at it. It looks like Charlotte. It's not even a thing, especially with her hair pulled back like that. When the hair's down by the side, like you can see here in the background, she does look a little bit different. I think when her hair's pulled back, it makes her face look a little bit slimmer or like taller there. So I think they did a good job on that. I think it looks just like her. Going down, this feels like a new torso mold or upper torso mold. I know that Charlotte took some time off to get some, uh, some work done there. So I think they actually accounted for that in the figure. She's got almost like this ombre attire going on. I don't know if you guys can see, but like the, the color on the, the top part here is a little bit different than the bottom part here. And I'm not sure if that ties into the ombre that we got going on here on the knee pads, which we'll get into. But it looks like it goes from this, this one pink color into this other pink color, into the other pink color, back into the other pink color. So it's like, it, it seems like it's transitioning colors all the way through the attire. I like all of this deco you got going on. It looks just like it. I like the like queen pieces and the crown pieces. It kind of looks like all of her tattoos are here. Uh, this torso doesn't allow for much articulation which we'll probably get into, but I still like it. You got the double jointed arms, which are excellent. We love to see that. Every figure should come with that one day. She does have her tattoos here on her forearm, so she has the heart on this side, and then she has her other words over on this side. Down into the crotch piece, it looks good. Everything looks the same. Same kind of deco going on all the way around. You got the Charlotte butt going on right there. You got the larger knee pads that do have like the ombre-ish tones going on. So you see, it's like more of a hot pink into like a, like a flamingo style pink, and it kind of fades into it, calling it, I'm calling it ombre right there and then you have the lower legs that are the same color as that going down into the boots that are the same kind of pinkish red color with the cf logos over there got a little paint chip right there not appreciating that but these boots are very nice i like the black laces i like the logos on it you do get some nice stuff going on i think this is a new boot mold i've never seen these they're really tall and nice you also have the toe pivot right there and then i am noticing the serial number on the foot over here the boots are kind of coming off like more of a red instead of a pink color i'm not sure exactly if that's supposed to be accurate if they're supposed to be this red color if they're supposed to be more of the pink but when you zoom out you can kind of tell how much more red they are but nonetheless I mean that is the figure from head to toe I, I like it man I really like it I think this is hands down the best Charlotte it's not even close with all the art added articulation you get the robe you get all the good stuff going on this is a very nice Charlotte figure and uh let's go ahead and get into some articulation for this Charlotte figure so for Charlotte, guys, she, uh, her head sculpt is not the best when it comes to articulation. Like, yeah, it can look over here, but it can't really pivot. It can't look down. It can't look up, really, unless you do the torso here. So that's unfortunate. I'd really like to see, like, a hinge up there so you can look down and up. That would be really nice to see. As far as the ab crunch, I mean, you don't really get ab crunch. You can go back a little bit, but not really forward, especially, like, with the waist. It's not coming forward at all. You do get waist swivel there. She can go all the way up to 90 degrees right here. You do get the full rotation. You get the bicep swivel all the way around, which is beautiful. You do get double jointed arms which are immaculate. You love to see that. Never going to get old. You get the hinge here and it rotates at the wrist. You get the splitsies right there which is pretty good. I think these are on ball joints. Yes they are. You get the upper thigh cut. She can kick forward some right there. You can see how long her legs are. Can't kick back because of the butt cheek flap. You got the double jointed knees which are a little bit hindered because of the knee pads. They are larger there so that's kind of unfortunate. But uh, you do get boot, boot rotation. You get the ankle pivot which is nice and you get the toe articulation and her foot can look down too. Or not look down, but push down. Hopefully this doesn't have the same problem as the Becky Lynch figure where it got super duper loose in the ankle, so we'll just have to see about that. But the articulation on this Charlotte is nice and definitely better than other female Mattel WWE action figures. And then for your Ultimate Edition WWE female comparison, you have the Ultimate Edition Series 5 Becky Lynch, the Ultimate Edition Series 6 Charlotte, and the Ultimate Edition Series 1 Ronda Rousey. And overall, I still like the Ronda Rousey better. It's just, it just feels so damn good in the hand. You have the WrestleMania 35 main event right here, and they all three look great. I really love the Ultimate Edition figures. I wish all the women figures were like this, but it is nice to at least have a small collection of these, having these three women. You, you might could take parts from each of them and make other women putting other head sculpts and stuff and switching out boots and things of that nature. Possibly, I'm not sure, but it is nice to see all three of these ladies up next to each other. And then for your Charlotte figure comparison, here's like an older basic Charlotte with the Elite 54 head sculpt on it. I think I tried to cut 
customize my Elite 54, so I don't really have any more. But I mean, my God, is it not obvious how much better the Ultimate Edition is? Just look at their bodies. Look at their proportions. Look how big this head is compared to this. This is just way better, man. It's not even close. The Ultimate Edition is definitely the best Charlotte. I'm so happy to have this in the collection over the rest. But that is it for your Charlotte Elite figure comparisons. Anyways, guys, I think that is going to do for the Ultimate Edition Charlotte Flair action figure review. Overall, really, really nice, guys. If you want to replace your Charlotte, I 100% say to pick this up. If you see it at retail, if you want to order it to replace your Charlotte, absolutely do it. There's no if, ands, or buts. You get the nice cloth robe. You get the great interchangeable head sculpts. You get a beautifully posed figure. It's way better than her other figures as far as articulation. It stands up. It looks great. Fits perfectly among your WWE figure collection. If you would like to pick this thing up, you can go over to Ringside Collectibles com use promo code MD toys to save yourselves 10 percent huge shout out to ringside collectibles for making the review possible definitely check out all of their stuff over there and use promo code MD toys so you save some money but I absolutely recommend this figure again it will definitely replace your Charlotte figure and it just is so much better than other standard Mattel WWE you know female figures like it's not even close very easily posable just so just so nice man it's just a breath of fresh air when you get one of these ultimate edition lady figures in here over our other ones that we typically get so that that is going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think of the Ultimate Edition Charlotte down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My name is Toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.